Hi, I'm Josh, and today I want to talk about double tracking guitar using two separate amplifier signals. Now, at the beginning of this track, you heard me play over top of Extreme's Decadence Dance using two separate amps. On the left side, you had the JP2C from Mesa Boogie, and on the right side, you had the Mark 2C Plus from Mesa Boogie. Both fantastic amps in their own right and recorded on their own, but when combining these two separate sounds together, it gives us a total tonal value to it. So let's take a look at the gear that I used to record these two tracks, and more specifically the amplifiers that I used. So today I essentially used some really basic gear, just guitar, directly into Profiler, and then right into the interface DAW. So let's start with the guitar. I have a 2018 Music Man Majesty Monarchy. Uh, this is in the Black Knight finish. Uh, I really enjoy the, the overall neck through and uh, look of this guitar. Uh, it's using a Sonic Ecstasy pickup from DiMarzio. I really love those. All right, and I just maintained uh, every sound on the bridge pickup here the whole time. Okay, so I have this going directly out of the guitar into my Kemper Profiler. Uh, we'll get into the profiles exactly what I used uh, in just a moment. But then I go left and right out of the back of this into the Universal Audio Apollo Twin and then right into my DAW, which I'm using uh, Logic Pro X for everything. So if you hear any ambience or reverb or anything on the track, uh, that was added using the Kemper. Everything else is very much dry. Okay, so let's take a look at the amplifiers used for these sounds. If you look here, uh, we have a JP2C. This is the original one, panned hard left. Another JP2C that I recorded to uh, balance it for the purpose of this video. Uh, a Mark 2 c Plus, panned hard right and another Mark II C+, Plus, and down here we have the backing track. Okay, so let's just go back, no backing track. I want you to hear the quality of the JP2C. Okay, so this is both of them double tracked. <laughs> So I think that that sound is really well balanced and really enjoyable to listen to on its own. However, when we put in the backing track, I want you to pay close attention to when the vocals come in right here where we overlap a little bit and also uh, down here as well. It's really distracting. I think it's too mid-rangey while the tone is great by itself. When added to a mix, it kind of gets lost a little bit. Let's take a listen. <laughs> So as you can hear, it's not bad. It's still a good sound. I'm, I'm not saying it's not a good sound. It's just a little distracting for me on my ears because it just doesn't pop out of the mix enough. Okay, so let's look at the polar opposite of that. All right, so now let's just take a listen to the Mark, T, Mark II C Plus recorded by itself. <laughs> Okay, so a little bit different situation. I think this sounds like a really nice boutique muff pedal. Uh, I think that the pinch harmonics and uh, overtones really come through in the mix there. Uh, and you'll, you'll hear that when we add it to the backing track. So it's really good for popping your sound out, but I feel like we've just sacrificed a lot of mid-range and actual body of the guitar sound from the original track. So let's go ahead and add in the backing track. And I want you to hear how easily it now it comes through the mix, whether the vocals are in or not. Okay, so again, kind of cool. I like uh, I like to hear how easily that does pop out, but. To me, I'm sorry, that tone's just a little annoying for me, uh, a little too buzzy. So let's go back to the original sound from what you heard up front in the recording, where I just have a JP2C on the left and a Mark II C Plus on the right with the backing track. Again, you're going to hear a nice balance. The guitar comes out very clearly, but it also has that body that we're looking for as a nice hard rock sound. Let's listen. <laughs> Man, 
I really love that sound. That's a that's a great sound for me, and uh, I think for any purpose of recording rhythmic rock or anything that's a little bit faster paced, uh, it has like that nice drive that kind of hits you in the chest. This is really the way to go. Find yourself a nice mid range sound and a nice tinny sound or or high range that lends to your overtones and harmonics. So after looking at these examples and kind of hearing what I was talking about, hopefully this will help you decide whether you should be double tracking with two different amplifiers, one or none at all. Thank you for watching.